I am so excited to show this to you. We're out here making the black gold, right here, baby. Our pasture has been looking pretty scraggly. We've been talking about ways that we can improve its health so that we can feed our cows better while the grass is growing and so that we can get more cuttings of hay. Last year, we ended up having to buy about three bales of hay and they can cost anywhere upwards of $90. And with the way inflation is going, I only see that price going up. One thing that we could do is put some chemical fertilizer on it. And we did that, I think it was two years ago, maybe three, and it cost us, uh, I wanna say close to $400 for our small pasture. Now the price of fertilizer has just about doubled. That's no longer doable for us who on a small farm scale. Also, we cut our hay on shares. This is pretty common for people who have small farms and don't have tractors to run it. That equipment costs a lot of money. It also takes a lot of fuel to run it. So small farmers oftentimes will have a neighbor or another farmer who's pretty local mow the hay for shares. Meaning in past years it's been they take half, we take half. Well the price of fuel has gone up so much, it's costing the farmer so much more to mow the hay that they had to take a bigger share. And as the price of fuel increases, that share is gonna get bigger and bigger. That's another reason we need to make our hay field more productive so that we can get more cuttings so we'll be able to keep enough hay to feed our cows over winter. So we had to come up with something different. This, my friend, is the thing of beauty. I am so excited to show this to you. All right, we got some chicken manure, rabbit manure and comfrey leaves and flowers and anything else off the plant. We just took a big whack at it. Uh, it's all going into our basket. We got the basket filling up with water and the airline is bubbling away. This is only purpose is to agitate the water, number one, but also to aerate it, number two. And that gets those microbes and the microorganisms and all that stuff just like ooh happy we got some fresh o2 we're gonna go to work so what i mean by black gold is liquid fertilizer we're taking rabbit manure chicken manure comfrey other plant clippings and boiling them up not literally boiling but letting them marinate in this fermented goodness right here that's going to make our pasture greener better and more productive so here you can see after a couple of days, the items in the bags are breaking down and making this nutrient rich fertilizer full of microbial activity that's really gonna healthy up our pasture, we're hoping. Uh, there's a nice deep dark brown liquid in there going strong. This is a Femco Industries 45 gallon boomless sprayer. It has a spray arm on the back that hits about 25 to 30 foot uh, coverage area. Uh, it also has the wand here, so you can spot treat any areas you want with a 25 foot hose. A three and a half gallon per minute pump. Um, I kind of picked this one out because it hit the sweet spot of price point and capacity. They come in smaller tank capacities, 10 gallon, 15 gallon, 25 gallon, that'll go on the back of a four x four or a four wheeler. And so uh, they're much, much less expensive. They also, also have the the boomless spray arm, but they usually also have a lower PSI pump. So they don't spray as much over a given period of time. So you do have to drive slower. All right, we're still pumping away here. It's just been a couple of minutes and we're about three quarters of the way full here on the tank. There's the water line right there or the homemade fertilizer line. And here you can see the fluid being pumped into the tank from this hose that we have connected. It's, this is really a, uh, a good setup for our farm for being able to do so many things with this one tank. Spraying in the evening helps reduce evaporation and so therefore the fertilizer that we're putting down, this nutrient dense goodness can mix with the overnight dew and really get down deeper than it would just on its own with the light spraying during the day. We had the initial cost for the sprayer on the back of Chris's truck. 
That was a big expense, but we had already purchased it before we started this project. So I'll put the price of it on the screen and a link to it so that you can check it out in case you don't have a sprayer yet. That is an initial cost that's quite high, but when you think about the cost over time, it, that sprayer is gonna last seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years, and doing it season after season is really gonna break that cost down to minimal. The second thing that we had to purchase was the IBC tote, the pump, the basket that we put in the top of it, and the, what are those, um, paint strainer bags that we're putting the material in to put in there. And that's it. Some tubing, I think, and I think that's all that I can think of. I'll talk to Chris, we'll add anything else. We'll come back and we'll put a list of it so that you guys can see exactly what it costs us to put this system together. But the cool thing is, we're gonna be able to have good, healthy fertilizer using our own chicken manure, our own rabbit manure, and our own comfrey right from our own garden, year after year after year at no additional cost. So when we break down the cost of the system over the next 10 to 15 years, it's actually really minimal, really affordable, and I would definitely suggest checking out something like this. I wanted to show you this because one side of this fence has been sprayed with fertilizer, the other side has not yet. So I hope that in this video there's one or more things that you might implement into your farming system and if there is please leave a comment down below and tell us what that is. Make sure to check out all the links in the description below so that you can get your own fertilizer system going. Also, here's a video I made a few years ago when they were baling the hay. I thought it was really interesting because I hadn't seen it done before. I'm sure you'll enjoy it.